So I think the culture thing is important, and Dante Williams can fix it. You know, we've all heard rumblings about issues that have been in that locker room with, you know, whatever, favoritism or just Accountability. groups versus other groups. You got to, you know, there's a big Texas contingency. Versus, I mean, we've just heard so many things. And to me personally, I felt like, okay, those are, those are problems that will probably pop up when you're playing the better teams, where if the locker room isn't, you know, completely united or whatever, like, ah, oh, you play Utah and they're, they're pretty good this year, that could bite you. You go on the road to play Notre Dame. Didn't expect it against Stanford at home, but obviously problems were even worse than we thought. I mean, there's yeah. there's some serious problems going on there. Body language didn't look good. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of issues, and I feel like if you're Dante Williams, you fix that, and you're going to fix a lot of the problems on this team. Yeah, Shagun, you and I have been on the sideline for the entirety of Clay Hilton's era, or at least as head coach. And the one thing that we always said was that the players never quit. They always rooted for Clay and fought for him on the field, but it just felt different on Saturday and we kind of talked about it during the game and afterwards it just felt like you could see the body language in the fourth quarter it was just different and we were kind of wondering on tunnel vision on Sunday how do you keep that going how do you how do you keep that momentum going forward when the Coliseum is booing your head coach it just seems like it would be a hard thing to do to keep that culture in the locker room and so I mean this is seems like the obvious answer of course but what are you expecting going forward yeah I mean it was a demoralizing loss and it really affected the players. It, it wasn't just, you know, someone that it wasn't Alabama coming in as a number one team coming in and, and wiping you. It was a Sanford team that had gotten whooped the last week against Kansas State, yeah. who's not that great themselves. So, you know, it was very demoralizing. And then even the fans and a lot of the players, especially, I mean, more than half this roster is has come to USC in the last two years. And none of those People had played in front of USC fans before yeah. uh, or had USC fans booing them. They did play before them last week. but So I think it was really demoralizing to them, and the body language wasn't good. There were some things said on the sideline that weren't weren't great. Um, so I think Dante Williams can come in and can bring accountability. And if you talk to any of the cornerbacks, you know, his position, they all – like Chris Steele, Isaac Taylor Stewart, during the, the fall, you ask him, okay, well, who's going to be starting beside you type of thing? Like, well, I don't have a starting spot. You know, Dante makes it clear that, you know, you have to earn it every day in practice and everything. And, and I think if he brings that to the entire team, I think that helps the culture because I think that's one of the things that a lot of um, a lot of the rumblings have been that just people aren't happy about. They don't think that everything is being earned. So we'll see where they go from here.